Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys my first thoughts on La Volume de Chanel mascara. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So this mascara is the latest release from Chanel. It has a new formulation obviously and as well as a new technology for the wand. It has caused a lot of hype recently in the beauty world because it is said to have to be actually the newest and the best mascara in town. So this is how it looks. It only comes in one shade which is 10 no wear. It comes in this beautiful, I believe this is a glass yeah, I believe this is a glass packaging. This is not plastic, I don't think. And this is how the wand looks. I believe it's a synthetic wand. It's not natural, yeah. It's a synthetic wand, which looks like this. It looks very clump-like. Now, this retails for 36 Canadian, so in US prices or US dollars, that would be about 32 31 and that is typical mascara price range for high-end mascara we're talking Dior and Chanel so my first thoughts on this one there are two other mascaras I can compare this to just to give you guys a gauge two holy grails for me is Lancome's Hypnose Drama in terms of really creating drama a false lash effect and much volume making you look like you have more lashes than you actually have and there's benefits they're real which really gives you the length which you really don't have but make you look like you have now I think this is holy grail and a lot of the a lot of the opinion that is going around out there is that this is comparable if not so much even better than Lancome's Hypnose Drama. So I have Hypnose Drama right here and earlier this morning when I did apply my makeup I was so curious to find out that I actually applied Lancome to one eye and Chanel in the other eye. So my first thoughts and my initial impression in comparing both, I would just have to say that in terms of creating drama, they're almost equal. Almost equal in terms of the definition and the color payoff and the pigmentation of the intense black that they give. What I would have to say in what makes Chanel a uh, cut above the hypnose drama is that when I compared both lashes, the Hypnos Drama did not have as much length, although the Chanel just had had just the same amount of volume. This one has a snowflake design technology for the wand, that's what they call it, and it allows the wand to actually grab every strand of your lash and to just lift it. I'm gonna come in closer and show you guys how my lashes look. And they look amazing. They don't only look volumized, they look well defined and they look lengthened. And it, it promises dramatic length, curl and definition and I think in each one of those categories it truly delivers. I have yet to find a mascara that nails all three. Benefits the real nails lengthening for me. I don't think anyone can beat lengthening in terms of what benefit gives in that product. but. And Lancome's Hypnose for me really does amazing volume where you look like you really have false lashes. They're not really that lengthened or long, but they do look like false lashes. But the Chanel, which is this one right here, actually now I've, I've applied it on both. But you can see clearly in this eye, I've applied it twice on this eye. The first coat was already good enough in giving me this. But what's more amazing about the Chanel and what makes it to me holy grail is the fact that it's buildable. And I never really believed any mascara was because once I, did, I do a second coat, let's say for the benefit they're real, it doesn't really do much anymore. The second coat is futile. And for mascaras that promise volumizing effects, the second coat is just, it makes it really clumpy or just I have to separate it with a lash comb. And for a lot of the time, sorry, for Lancome's Hypnose Drama or formulations that are very wet and thick and you know, they get very clumpy once you try to build them again. This is not the case for the Chanel. It actually is really buildable and it actually gives you a more dramatic effect on the second coat without clumping. So in that sense, I think it's 
absolutely holy grail. Do I think it's better than Lancome Hypnose Drama? Yes, because it adds that factor of lengthening, which the Hypnose Drama doesn't really offer. And side by side, when you put them together, the Hypnose Drama looks substantially shorter, the lashes on that side, than the Chanel. And if you come closer, the Chanel is just well defined. It really looks like every strand was coated equally without clumping. Um, and another thing I like about this, it's similar to what I guess some Japanese mascaras give in terms of finish, but what I don't like about the Japanese mascaras is they're too wet and heavy on the lashes and they can get brittle when they dry down because the formulation is too harsh or strong, but this is just the beautiful in between perfect formulation for everything in terms of coating the lashes, lengthening it, giving it definition, yet volumizing it as well. So definitely this is my new Holy Grail mascara. I know it's very recent for me to say that, but I think after my hypnose drama and trying everything else, all the drugstore mascaras, I would have to say that this is the first mascara that I think delivers on all three major characteristics that you look for in a mascara, which is definition, curl, and length. So I hope that was interesting for you guys. This may be a bit steep and an investment, but I think if you do have the money for it or the budget for it it's definitely worth a try because you will get your money's worth i do like a, i do have a few drugstore mascaras as well and i think for a daily basis or for doing errands i think they're not bad but i would have to say that well formulated mascaras really do deliver and you'll see that in the finish and the feel of the mascara so i guess that's about it thank you guys for watching i hope that was informative enough and yeah, you should give this mascara a try. I hope you guys have a great day.